Painter 2020, where the power of Painter really comes into focus. You won't believe your eyes when you see how much faster Corel Painter 2020 can be. Corel Painter 2020 is here, and today I'll deliver a quick overview of the new features, and I'll share my thoughts on this version. Thanks for joining me today, I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and if you're new to this channel, I post lots of videos about Corel Painter, so make sure to click that subscribe button and enable notifications with the bell icon. Quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video, but Painter 2020 was provided by Corel, and I do earn revenue from affiliate links. Please note that I have customized my workspace a bit, so your setup might look a little different. If you'd like to follow along using my custom workspace, you can download it from my website. There's a link for that in the video description. So let's take a quick look at some of the key features in Corel Painter 2020. Some of Corel Painter's brushes can now leverage your computer's GPU or video card to dramatically improve performance of large brushes and large canvases. Two new fast brush categories feature 26 enhanced brushes that can perform faster by utilizing one or more of Painter 2020's multi-core AVX2 or GPU performance enhancements. New user interface improvements to the property bars and panels aim to streamline your workflow and make it easier for you to find the controls you're looking for. A stroke options flyout gives you quick access to brush stroke properties, as well as two new panels for mirror painting and perspective guides. Working with vector shapes has been significantly improved, and you can now edit shape properties with a shape properties panel or flyout. A new compact brush selector offers a low profile panel for choosing brushes. The stroke and dab previews in Curl Painter 2020 have been improved to better represent the look of the brush. You can now quickly toggle between two brushes using the last used brush toggle button. Color selection has been improved in Painter 2020. A universal color picker now syncs across Painter. You can also see your previously selected color against your current color in the color panel and fine tune your color choices with beautiful color ramp sliders. Looking for some color inspiration? The new Harmonies panel shows you colors that work well together. There are several color modes to choose from. The Eraser tool can now be customized with a variety of properties and dab profiles. And working with layers is a lot less frustrating with the new ability to lock the canvas and to lock hidden layers so that you can't accidentally paint on them. So those are just some of the changes in Corel Painter 2020. There are many more that I didn't cover because I want to keep this video concise. So let's move on to a quick summary of some of the pros and cons of this version, in my opinion. Starting with the pros, some brushes can leverage your GPU to greatly increase performance for large brushes and large canvases. It's now easier than ever to locate and make sense of advanced brush and tool controls. And there have been significant improvements to color selection. And now for some of the cons. First, not all brushes can support the GPU enhancements. Corel Painter 2020's performance gains are hardware dependent, and there's no new brush technology to play with. So that's a quick overview of what's new in Corel Painter 2020. For longer and more detailed tutorials on how to use these features, check out my video lessons on the Painter Tutorials YouTube channel. And if you're looking for complete Corel Painter training that is in-depth, check out some of my downloadable video training courses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.